Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some applications, characteristics and disadvantages. So if there are any disadvantages or drawbacks, you can say, or challenges. So we'll be discussing about these three things of mobile computing, guys. Okay, yes. So first, let us go through the application. So basically, mobile computing is such a field that it can be applicable everywhere, guys. Okay, because it is just an improvement of things, right? So instead of having a fixed devices, or fixed usage of devices so now you can move them from one place to another place so this is an advancement you can say so that is the reason why you can have various applications for it guys okay so it can be used in vehicles so basically nowadays the popular word is nothing but tesla cars right so the automated cars and all those things right yes so in that the, the devices will be connected to everything right yes so sorry the devices will be connected to the wi-fi it is having some computational brain it uses some machine learning algorithm to observe things and all those things there are various things right yes so you can say that that tesla car is a moving computer guys so you can say in that way okay yes so it can be used in vehicles similarly for emergencies so for emergencies like so if there is any kind of accident okay so you, if, if, if it is in a forest or somewhere somewhere ruler so in that situation a person who observed it or who is near it he can contact he can use his mobile to call right so because he is having his mobile only mobile means i'm saying about smartphone guys okay so as he is having smartphone only he can call right yes so in that way similarly in business like in some kind of applications you can check okay similarly for replacement of a wired network so basically previously everything is fixed and everything is wired right so now it can be wireless also okay similarly in entertainment sector okay in some kind of movie productions for cameras and all those things you can say uh, like best example will be drone guys so you can uh, control the drone with remote control right so it will be sending some signals like it is mo in mobile right yes similarly mobile payments like how everyone is paying nowadays similarly in marketing so there are various applications you can say okay so now let us go through the characteristics of mobile computing so are there anything special about this mobile computing which is making this that much useful yes so the first major characteristic is nothing but ubiquity guys so ubiquity is nothing but anywhere at any time so the ability of a user to perform computation from anywhere and at any time is nothing but the ubiquity okay so something like business notifications okay so you can say small example for it is nothing but so from your particular mobile you can send some data to your friend right so using whatsapp message or somewhere right so sorry in this way from anywhere you can send that particular information to your friend so this is a sorry for that this is a special characteristic of the mobile computing right yes because if there is a no mobile computing you you should be at your home right so assume that there is a no mobile devices like any kind of movable device so in that situation assume that you are having a computer in your home just as random example guys okay so in that situation you need to come to your computer at your home to send a message to your friend right yes so while you are in your bus or while you are uh, in your street or in your corridor you cannot send a message so in that way it is a major advantage okay similarly location awareness okay so whenever there are some kind of things right so location awareness is nothing but so the gps guys so basically your location could be used for some kind of facilities right yes so basically in our mobiles we will be having gps right so using our gps our information or something you can say the google maps will be updating right so from the satellite images or some some kind of magic so using that the thing will update right yes so based on your location and all those things so many applications require or value additional information by location based service so basically even nowadays there are some traffic control systems so basically it will scan that particular road so there will be a camera which will be checking the road status if there are a lot of vehicles it will give this preference so in that way so based on the observations and all those things like the location awareness the traffic control everything could be done guys similarly adoption ability to adjust to bandwidth fluctuations without inconvenience of the user okay so in my last lecture i told you the disadvantage of mobile or wireless devices is that the uh, network uh, the change or the bandwidth variation will be a bit high i told you right yes but did you ever notice it guys in your mobile like while watching youtube videos or anywhere it is a bit rare right yes because it is adjust adopt adoption so there is a good adoption algorithm or adoption thing 
behind this concept so that is the reason why it will be adapting to the things and it will be able to overcome it so basically it will not create any inconvenience to the particular user okay similarly broadcasting so basically from your device you can send a particular message or information to multiple devices so it is a better thing right yes so efficient delivery of data can be made simultaneously to hundreds or thousands of devices right yes okay similarly personalization so basically you can have some personalized services in your mobile right so you can install some apps you can have your profile you can have things and all of those things right yes so these are some advanced uh, characteristics of mobile computing you can say okay so now let us go through some drawbacks or challenges in mobile computing so basically you cannot say everything is perfect in mobile computing right yes so there are some drawbacks you can say so the first is nothing but the disconnection guys so basically there are sometimes when there is some important meeting so assume that there is a viva or something going on and suddenly your internet will stop connecting to your particular device only so assume that you are using laptop okay so suddenly the wi-fi connection has been lost to your laptop and you are trying to reconnect so in that way so there will be some sudden fluctuations right yes so network failure as it is a wireless connection so basically there is no fixed wire so at any moment of time there could be some kind of disconnections similarly bandwidth variation okay so the bandwidth variation is also a bit high when compared to the normal wired connection guys okay similarly heterogeneous networks so basically you cannot say that the mobile architecture or the device architecture will be same for all okay so if you take an example of apple mobile okay apple iphone you can say so in that the architecture might be a bit different so i'm talking with respect to the communication system similarly if you take another device so let us take samsung or some kind of other device so in that the system might be different so in this way there could be some differences like the different devices interfere interfaces and protocols which they are using might also vary so at this point so if this is using some frequency and this is using one some frequency so if they want to communicate with each other so there should be some common frequency right yes so in that way it will be depending so there will be some heterogeneous networks also so that is also a challenge so basically you need to bring them both to the same situation to communicate okay similarly security risk so as there is no wired connection some xyz person can listen to the thing so by connecting to that particular frequency right yes similarly resource poor mobile elements so basically uh, the device the resources which we are having in our mobile phones like battery the hardware and all those things are a bit limited so i'm not saying it they are not enough but they are a bit limited right yes so that is also a drawback you can say okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the applications characteristics and drawbacks or challenges in mobile computing okay so in the next lecture we will be discussing about the wireless transmission and we will be discussing about the electromagnetic spectrum guys so what are there in it and all those things okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching